All right, so who exactly should buy the M2 MacBook Air and how much stuff do you want to add to it before you buy something else? That's what we're going to talk about. So if you're thinking about the M2 MacBook Air, you want to buy it, watch this video because there's some other better options if you're going to beef that system up and it just makes sense to at least consider this. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. So the big negative right off the bat is the $1199 price on the new MacBook Air. The M1 you can pick up, I mean, I've seen it on sale for $829, $849, and are you gonna notice a huge difference? So let's just put that aside. Uh, you know, you always have to consider the M1 just like I have here because of the price difference, but <clears throat> let's not even worry about that. So for $1199, you're talking, it's a lot of money, right, just off the bat, and you're getting the base, I'm gonna go through it in a second, but you're getting base stuff. I mean, there's some upgraded stuff on there, there's new colors. Um, there's, you know, if you love the colors, that's one thing. If you love the system, the design, that's another thing. You know, obviously it's one of those things where it's all, you know, all, all relative to what you feel, but if you want midnight or if you want, you know, the, the lighter kind of gold color, think starlight, you can't live without them, then pick it up. But midnight, Marquise Brownlee even said he was thinking about it. He loved it, but then his fingerprints were all over it. He couldn't get rid of them. I mean, if you watch his video, I'll show you like a little clip here. Watch series seven so it's not quite black it's slightly blue as hopefully you can tell from my clips but also in my very very limited time playing with it uh it picks up a lot of fingerprints but anyways you can see what he says there so long story short i, I wouldn't really uh recommend that maybe for fingerprints you may want to test it out in the apple store so really quickly i'm going to share my screen here i just want to show you so if you're you know if you're going to buy the m2 macbook air you want to spend 11.99 I think it's the people that want to actually buy the base model that should just really buy it. But if you start, you know, start adding anything to it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, it does to a certain point, and I'll show you where that cutoff maybe is. So watch my screen. I'm going to show you kind of where this system makes sense. If you can get away with the base model, you use a lot of cloud or external storage, 256, you know, on the, on the SSD, that's enough. The base is probably where to go. And I always say that, I mean, usually that's the case with these systems. But let's share my screen here. I'm just going to show you really quickly kind of what I'm thinking. I'm going to show you what you should buy maybe instead, so let's get into the video. All right, so on my screen right here, let's go over to it. If we look over here again, here's the base model of the M2 MacBook Air. I'm going to scroll down to it, and I'm going to click Select on it. And we'll see, um, you know, obviously what this comes with is it comes with the new M2 chip. we got to see how fast that is in comparison with the old M1 and the M1 Pro M1 Max chips. That's number one. Number two, it only comes with 8 gigs of memory, 256 SSD, 13.6 inch, just regular. It's a Retina, obviously, but it's not the XDR. And then we get MagSafe added, two Thunderbolt ports, 30 watt. You don't get the fast charging, you only get a 30 watt charger here as well. So this is 1199 already. So let's just go down here. So let's just say you wanna kinda of dabble in this and you, you kinda of wanna get the system a little beefier for your college or for your school. You know, let's go ahead and just add the, you know, let's just add, what is it, two more cores in the GPU, that's all this is gonna do, extra 100 bucks, right? Let's go ahead and just go up to 16 gigabytes of memory right there, an extra 200 bucks. Not, not, maybe not a bad deal, but it's adding up. And then let's go to 512 SSD storage and another 200 on top of this, right? And then let's go all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna add fast charging. Um, we're gonna do the 67 watt USB charger right there. So if we look at the price now, now we're at $16.99. $16.99 for a MacBook Air. And you gotta start weighing your options at that point, right? Um, again, I think this is the cutoff. I think, now, and now let me explain, I'm gonna show you another thing in a second, so stay with me. But I think if you need a terabyte or two terabytes, um, you know, or 24 gigs of memory here for another 200 bucks, I mean, obviously if you go to 2400, then we're at 18, we're at 1900 bucks. So I think this 1699 is the cutoff if you're gonna buy a MacBook Air. You never should go above this, at least in my opinion. Um, and the reason for that is basically, let's go ahead and look at this, because when you get up to $16.99 or higher, actually higher than that, this is what you should buy. You know, we're getting basically the 14-inch MacBook Pro instead, and that, instead of the MacBook Air. And this is like $1,999. So it's 300 bucks more than I just showed you. If you add the extra stuff, it's a lot less, you know, it's not that much more at all. But for 300 bucks, so what do you get here for the 300 bucks? Well, you get, obviously, you know, if I'm looking here, six uh, extra GPU cores, number one. So you get a lot more GPU cores. You can see it here. You get eight core CPU, eight core GPU. Um, actually, I'm sorry. You get eight core CPU, 14 core GPU, 16 core neural engine, just like the M2. So we'll leave that alone. 
and memory. You get 16 gigabytes of memory. Remember I upgraded the other one to 16, so you get 16 included here, so that's fine. You get 512 gigabyte SSD included, that's the base. And I remember we upgraded the M2. And uh, if I go down, you get the 67 watt charger. So you get the same charging capability with 67 watts. And this one is the M2 because I had to upgrade the M2. So we're looking at 1999. Now I went, you know, again, actually you get, you even get more than this, I'm sorry. And let me keep going. You, you get a lot more actually. You do get a better XDR screen, number one. You get better blacks, you get just better everything overall with the screen, so you're gonna get that. You get a bigger screen also. So what is, this is for the 300 bucks. These are the differences. So you get a better screen, bigger screen. You basically get another extra Thunderbolt port. So you get three instead of two. You get the MagSafe as well, obviously, the headphone jack also. But you also get HDMI port. If you use that, that could be life-saving. You also get the SPXC or the actual card reader port, which is huge as well. You get MagSafe. Um, so you get those extra ports as well on the system. And, and then ultimately you get the M1 what is it that's the M1 Pro chip and I believe that, that that Pro chip is probably going to be faster than the M2 base chip so we got to wait for those numbers to come out but I'm guessing it's going to be faster as well so you're getting a way more capable faster system with more ports better screen everything for about 300 bucks more and a lot less if you keep adding to the MacBook M2 uh, error. So at the end of the day, I think that $16.99 price point is the cutoff no matter what. You don't want to go any higher than that. If you do do that, then all of a sudden you definitely need to buy the 14-inch uh, here, a 14 point, what is it? They say it's even bigger than that. It's like a 14.6 inch or 14.3 inch. It's a little bit bigger screen, obviously, but I mean, it's got the new design as well, and it's a little bit more boxy, obviously, but it can handle a lot more stuff you throw at it, and it's probably going to have a better resale value, maybe debatable. Now again, if you want the colors on the MacBook Air, all that kind of stuff, uh, go for it. This system though, I've seen this system for $18.99, number of times, $18.99 on sale. When you get to $18.99 on the 14 inch MacBook Pro, now 200 buck difference, you definitely need to buy this instead of the $16.99 M2 MacBook Air. So keep an eye out for sales. The M2 MacBook Air will probably be on sale eventually, obviously, when it's new it may not be, but those MacBook Airs, send, they tend to go on sale as well. So I'm not just saying the 14 inch is going to be the only thing on sale. But keep in mind that that's what I'm just telling you. Like, you got to keep your eyes open. When you start adding things together, it doesn't make a lot of sense to buy something with a way worse screen, less ports, way less powerful CPU, probably less resale value. Um, you know, and, you, and then the list goes on and on. So you tell me, what do you think? Is this, is this a good price cutoff point? Is it not? What would you recommend? So students, $11.99, maybe go for the MacBook Air. That's a big gap. When you get up to $16.99, you definitely have to start asking yourself some questions. When you get above $16.99, you want to go with the 14-inch. That's the one I'm sticking to, and that's the way I look at it. Um, you tell me in the comments, is this on or is this off? We'll talk to you soon. I hope everyone's having a great, it's actually a weekend here. It may not be when you watch this, but I'll talk to you soon. Peace.